In January this year, Iran's formidable Major General Qasem Soleimani was assassinated in a targeted U.S. drone strike in Baghdad. In November, Iran's topmost nuclear scientist Mohsin Fakhrizadeh has been assassinated. This time, the killing has taken place on Iranian soil. Fakhrizadeh was killed in an ambush near the capital Tehran. No one has claimed responsibility. The U.S. government and Israel have both denied to make any comment, but Iran is preparing for a retaliation nonetheless. It has vowed revenge. Our next report tells you more. Iran is in a state of grief. Iranians are mourning the death of their top nuclear scientist. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Mohsin Fakhrizadeh, a member of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Fakhrizadeh was a leading figure in Iran's nuclear program. He was instrumental in drawing up plans for Iran's first uranium enrichment plant. But he balanced his high status with a low public profile. For many Iranians mourning his death, Fakhrizadeh was just a university professor. He has now been declared a martyr. A state funeral was held in Tehran and it was attended by Iranians from all walks of life. On the 27th of November, Fakhrizadeh was assassinated in an ambush near Tehran. Reports say he was shot three times by a remote-controlled machine gun. The gunfire lasted for three minutes, after which a Nissan laden with explosives was set off in close proximity. The killing in broad daylight on Iranian soil has sent shockwaves across the country. The Iranian state media says weapons used in the killing were made in Israel and the Iranian leadership has also blamed Israel for the assassination. Iran's President Hassan Rouhani has vowed revenge. Iran's enemies should know that the people of Iran and officials are braver than to leave this criminal act unanswered. In due time, they will answer for this crime. There is also anger on the streets. Hundreds of young Iranian students are protesting across the country. They are burning American and Israeli flags. They are calling upon their leaders to retaliate at the earliest. The government, the parliament and the Supreme National Security Council must suspend the additional protocol and all IAEA inspectors who are in fact Zionist inspectors and must be expelled. There has been no word on the killing from Israel, but a 2018 presentation by the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has resurfaced. And it is adding fuel to the allegations that Fakhrizadeh had been on Israel's target list for a long time. This is how Dr. Mohsen Fakhrizadeh, head of Project Ahmad, put it. Remember that name, Fakhrizadeh. So here's his directive, it's right here. And he says, the general aim is to announce the closure of Project Ahmad, but then he adds, special activities, you know what that is, special activities will be carried out under the title of scientific know-how developments. Meanwhile in the US, the White House, the Pentagon, the US State Department and the CIA have all declined to comment on the killing. So has US President-elect Joe Biden's transition team. The killing could escalate tensions between Iran and the United States in the final weeks of Donald Trump's presidency. I think Iran is a, in a situation whereby uh, assumes any reaction or response to this assassination inevitable. Because if it uh, doesn't respond, it will make the other side to advance further. And that will encourage them to do 
further assassinations or actions against Iran. First, Qasem Soleimani, now Mohsen Fakhrizadeh. Iran has lost two of its topmost officials in targeted attacks. The implications could be severe. West Asia is bracing itself for some turbulent times. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Vion, world is one.